Hi everybody, it's Mike from Here the Watchman. And you know, this afternoon on the Watchman's Report, we have our regular guest, Chance from American Survival Wholesale. And you know, we have some, some very exciting news to talk about. Chance and his team from American Survival Wholesale are going to be at the Here the Watchman conference in Boise, Idaho. They are uh, our key sponsor. They're going to have their products there, the opportunity for people to meet them and have consultations with them. And they're, they're doing some really neat stuff up there. One of the things in particular that they're doing that just blows my mind is they're giving away a free 30-day food supply, including shipping, to one lucky recipient. Now that can be somebody who is at the conference or that can be somebody that's part of the streaming event. All you have to do is email American Survival Wholesale and Chance will give you the exact email address. Email them on the final day of the conference. He'll announce the winner of the 30-day food supply. Chance, that's an amazing gift. Thank you so much. So come on, you know, come on, folks. Come, I'm sorry. I said, come on, folks, get busy right now. Send that email. Let's blow up Chance's email. You know, bug out America at USA.com. The first You broke up there. You, you 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 broke up a little bit, Chance. Let me let me let me just let them know the topic that you want to go over again, so it's clear. Gardening and guns. Now, how you're going to tie those two things in together? It's going to be fascinating. Go ahead, Chance.
15 by 15, 300 square feet. And you ask how you do that. Look up. The key is you can do certain split levels for your garden. For example, tomatoes and cucumbers, they can grow upside down. And we've all seen those infomercials where you have the uh, tomato plant that's growing from the ceiling, right? As you water that tomato plant or that cucumber plant, the water will then drain from that container onto the plant below. So now you're saving water as well. Right? Does this make sense so far, Mike? Absolutely. I mean, it sounds like a great idea. So, um, growing these fruits and vegetables gives you, again, that self-reliance. This is going to give you a quarter acre of food for a 15 by 15 room for your family. Well, a quarter acre of food is enough food for two families of four, right? Hmm. But we can't eat that much food, right? So, how much squash can you actually eat in a week, right, without getting sick? We also need to talk about how to can, how to can these fruits and fruits and vegetables for later use. And folks, if you get on YouTube and you just uh, type in the search term canning fruits and vegetables, there are some amazing tutorials and videos that get into detail. This is an art that our grandparents and great grandparents, they pass this down from one generation to the next. Right. During the Depression era, folks did this every day. It wasn't an emergency, right? They did this because they didn't have access to, you know, a local safe weather bonds or a grocery store, Trader Joe's or whatever that might be, right? They didn't have that access. So they, they grew in the spring, they harvested, and they had enough fruits and vegetables to get them through the winters. Well, you could do this in your own so learning how to can is absolutely huge. Think about this. Medicinal plants, garlic, turmeric, oregano, and basil. A lot of folks out there, they already know garlic is a great antibiotic. It's been a penicillin or moxicillin, penicillin, uh, that uh, you have to get a prescription for. Garlic is amazing. Turmeric is so good for your body. Oregano and basil have healing properties. And so you have your own medicinal medicine cabinet growing right in a window of your home, right? So uh, this is so important. I can't stress enough to be self-reliant, grow your own fruit, and we can teach. Uh, as a matter of fact, we offer a free consultation. You know, let us spend at least a half an hour on the phone with you, and we'll get into some specifics about, uh, you know, what's required, and how long it takes certain fruits to grow better than others and which ones you should focus on in your area, uh, how much sunlight, uh, if you want to grow outside, we can get to all of that. And so just feel free to reach out to us, schedule a free consultation with us by email, get that bug out, America at USA.com. Now we about our tools before we take a quick break. I need a little break here. Uh, your gardening tools um, are so simple. Just a few items you're going to need. Of course, your square containers. They can be old file boxes, you know, plastic file boxes. Um, they can be um, anything that you can align, right, with a waterproof material that you can just poke holes in the mm -hmm. bottom, right? Um, you're going to need a small handheld spade, a good set of pruners, gloves, if you choose to um, use organic stone. Organic soil or compost. Um, we're going to teach about composting on another. That's another topic for another conversation on another day, and we'll get into that a little bit more. Uh, that's very important because uh, using the right seeds, like an heirloom, non-hybrid seed, along with organic soil, is going to produce a fruit or a vegetable that is so much sweeter, more flavor than anything that you're going to find in your local grocery store. Right. So that's really important. So guys. We're going to go ahead and take a real quick break, and they're going to get into um, and how these two topics uh, correlate.
There you have it, folks. AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. Make sure you go on there, visit it, take a look at everything that they have. Uh, it's a veteran-owned company, big supporters of Hear the Watchman. Uh, and now, <laughs> you know, I'm as I'm as shocked as you are, folks. Exactly how guns and gardening tie in together. So go ahead, Chance, lay that one on us. Yeah, you know, I, I got to tell you, folks, uh, I've known Chance for a long time now, before Hear the Watchman ever started. Uh, and uh, uh, he's the real deal. His distributor program is a wonderful program. It's well thought out. Uh, for those of you that, that want to help others prepare and help uh, your, fa your family financially, I highly suggest you contact Chance at BugOutAmerica.com. Take some time, figure it out. 
look into all these different things you know we try to prepare you spiritually and physically for the days to come chance we're really looking forward to seeing you at the conference next week Well, thank you, Chance, and thank you for coming on the show today, folks. Next week, we're going to have Chance, we will do an interview with him live from the conference. We did it on audio only today because he is switching out his cameras uh, at his facility there uh, somewhere in the state of Texas. And uh, so we're going to come back at you with a video stream with some new information, show you what he's got at his booth. It's going to be a lot of fun. So join us next week. Until then... God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and we look forward to seeing you next week here on The Watchman's Report.